All right, you guys, welcome back to Rust Family Reactions. We're going to check out some more epic and incredible music with you. Who we have on deck for tonight is going to be a new artist feature, which means I've never reacted to before. I don't know anything about the music. I just know it was requested uh, by somebody on my Instagram that uh, apparently loves rock music just like I do. And I can't wait to check this one out, man. I, I, I really can't um, because it's another Israeli uh, rock band. Um, uh, and this one's featuring Nanette Tayeb. Uh, Tayeb. Um, I just recently reacted to her. She's amazing. Uh, so I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. Uh, so with all that being said, you guys, we're going to go in straight into full screen mode for this worldwide premiere from Infected Mushroom. The song is called Black Velvet. Black Velvet. Sorry about that. Uh, and it's featuring Nanette Tayeb. I uh, can't wait to check this one out with you guys. So... With all that being said, Russell Family Reactions, let's get it. Hold on, this is this is cool, man. One, I love the beat, I love the vibe, uh, I love the just kind of funkiness to the um, overall track so far. Uh, it's really, really cool. There's a lot of different kind of genres playing in on this um, that are kind of kind of collabing in this one aspect. Uh, but I just had to take it back for a minute too because Nanette Taya mentioned my home state, the state I was born in. She said, Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi, man. I lived there my entire life until recently. Um, I still love the state. Uh, I went to school there. I graduated from college there. Um, so to hear an Israeli or an, and a Jewish artist mention Mississippi, it, that warms my heart. It really does, man. It, it, <laughs> but uh, with all that being said, I, like I said, I really love the beat. I think it's really sick and cool. Um, really nice twist and vibe to it. I love that. I uh, also loved the, um, I guess, uh, in the intro, that was like the logo for Infected Mushroom. I thought that was really cool. Um, but with all that being said, man, I'm like, I'm stoked for this now. Like, like I said, she mentioned Mississippi. So with all that being said, let's get back into the music, guys. Mississippi in the middle of a dry spill. Jimmy Rogers on the victory. That's cool. Baby on a shoulder, the sun is setting like my lasers in the sky. If a boy could sing, you how to move everything. Always one more. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Dude, that's that's crazy sick and cool um one i feel stupid because i didn't realize that this was just a it's a cover of black velvet an amazing song by the way um but the cover the the version that they're doing is incredible it's way better than the original i've heard the original i love the twist that they're putting out like i said the beat and everything that they're doing on this is sick dude. it sounds amazing and her vocals are incredible. She's an amazing artist with an incredible vocal skill set. Can't wait to see what else she does with this. Love this. Thank you for everybody that requested this. There was a couple of a couple of people that actually requested this. Um, so I can't wait to finish checking this out. I'm stoked for this. Let's get back into it. That's so cool, dude.
Dude, I love that beat, bro. Yeah, I love that because they're they're taking and they're they're adding like this like kind of like techno and synth sound to it. That's really cool, man. Like initially when techno first came out in like the early two thousands, mid two thousands, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. Some of it sounded good, but the other like the rest of it sounded like garbage. This sounds incredible. This is techno and synth on a mastery level. And it sounds amazing. Like I said, they've really elevated this song. Initially, that's part of the reason why I didn't get that it was a Black Velvet cover. is because, yes, I've heard this song. I've heard it multiple times. The original is not that good. I don't like it. I don't like the way that the singer sings it. But this, I can get behind. This sounds amazing. And I... Dude, I, I know I'm not going to be able to find this in Apple Music. If somebody would, dude, I would, I would love it if someone would send me some Infected Mushroom CDs. If you had the opportunity to, I would love to just be able to listen to it in my vehicle, uh, going to work and stuff. This is really cool, man. This is really, really cool. Um, if, you, if you can, if you have some, um, if you know where to get them, please send me some. Private message me on Instagram, and I'll give you all the de uh, all the details on that. So, with all that being said, let's get back into it. Absolutely epic, bro. Yeah. That's so cool, dude. That was awesome. That was awesome. Like I said, man, the original I did not care for at all. Um, like I said, I've I've heard it multiple times, um, many different ways. Uh, but that I like I said, I can totally get behind that, especially when Annette Tao um, doing the singing on that. Phenomenal vocals, man. Uh, and I loved the the way that they like I said that synth and um, um, techno on a mastery level. That they killed that dude. That was epic. 
on so many levels, bro. Like I said, if someone feels uh, led to send me that CD, man, I would appreciate it so much. But uh, that's going to do it for this one tonight, you guys. Thanks so much for checking this one out with us. Once again, that was Infected Mushroom with their cover for Black Velvet. Black Velvet. And it was done by none other than Nanette, uh, Nanette Tayab. Absolutely phenomenal job, man. Can't wait to check out another one, dude. But uh, as always, you guys, we'll catch you on the flip side.